DIY Fam Fam and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Latwana Lakumala of LK Home DIY on Instagram. So please be sure to follow me there too if you already aren't. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please just hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. <laughs> I am so excited guys. Like, wow fam. Y'all are the proper MVPs because we've just hit over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't anticipate this happening so fast and I am truly humbled by all you guys' engagement, support, and love, and oh my gosh, like you guys are proper, proper, proper amazing. Thank you so much. And another reason why I'm also very excited because I built the TV stand of my dreams. And guys, when I say my dreams, I mean like, yo, I, I knew I wanted something very minimal and preferably white. And I also needed something that would hold its own in my space because my living room is quite long, but also because of the high ceilings, I didn't want something that would get swallowed up by the, by the walls. So I had specific measurements. And everything that I was finding was not long enough, was too forward, and it was just not, and it was also not my thing. And I mean, I found the closest TV stand that I liked, that I found was um, 5,000 Rand. And I could not reason with myself to allow myself to spend so much money on something that I I was not like I truly truly do not love so I found this design on Pinterest when I sort of searched in terms of minimal living rooms and I found this TV stand it's an IKEA inspired TV stand and I I just said screw it, I'm gonna build it myself. <laughs> and um, it took some time for me to actually get to that point where I actually made the decision to buy it. But then also I had to save up a little bit um, for it because I knew that even if I got a quote for all the materials and obviously then the labor I will be doing everything. I knew that there was going to be some things that happened along the way that would require money. So I just had to prepare myself for that. And my goodness, it was a very, very, very interesting time. I mean, from, from my screws being too short and having to run in between builder's warehouse and to get screws and the legs. And it was, I, I even thought I would screw it on the wall and it was, it was a lot. But I am so happy that it's eventually built. So take a look of how I built my TV stand of my dreams. So I first started off with drilling pilot holes into the sides of my frame and just making sure that they are all equal. I just lined up the wood and put some wood glue and then with using my long screws drilled my long screws into the pilot holes and the reason of why putting pilot holes is just to prevent the wood from splitting and over here I'm just marking the areas where I'm going to be putting in my corners um, these basically just help with keeping the pieces of wood joined together so it doesn't move around a lot but give it extra support and over here then I just drill the pilot holes and then putting the squares in, I just then um, use my posy drill bit to just drill in the screws and make sure that everything is nice and tight. All of this work was really stressful on my back, so I made sure to get in a good stretch. <laughs> and just like that, we are back to work and drilling in some more corners and flipped over my shelf now to mark the area where I'm going to be placing my shelf 
and this was pretty tight um, and because the shelf was ex the exact measurements I just slid the shelf in and make sure that it's straight and drill in some pilot holes to prevent the wood from splitting and then drill my long screws in using my posy drill bit after screwing in the shelf for the second unit, I was now done and I just did the first unit off camera. So I've just placed the doors uh, on top of the stand and this is how it's currently looking. And I'm a little nervous I won't lie about the doors but we will figure it out. Now trying to mark the areas where I have to drill in the spaces where I have to make for the hinges. I just placed the doors under the TV stand and this was actually a huge mistake uh, because this didn't take into account the distance from the door to the hinge. And as you'll see, I had to redo uh, because it was just too far. Without knowing, I went ahead and screwed the hinges into the door. And then only then when I placed the frame on top of the door, I realized that the hinge was too far. So we had to restart all over again. This is what I should have done before, actually use a scrap piece of wood and then I took about a centimeter off from the edge of the wood and just drilled in the holes for the hinges and then only then when I did that I realized this was the perfect measurement so I took this into account and then made the same space for the whole for all of the doors so it was just an area of just marking the edge from the top and the bottom and then the edge from the side of the door and which was about uh, 60 millimeter which was the width of the wood So after all of that, now just to see if the door fits in correctly, I just used one of the doors and I marked the holes in the stand where I would then use to attach the hinge onto the TV stand and lo and behold, it worked. So I was very impressed with myself at this point. Because the TV stand is so long, I was advised to actually make it in halves, 1.2 each, and then just attach it. And I just used the long screws just to attach the two units by attaching them to the shelf. After attaching the two shelves, I just used some wood filler to just close up any gaping holes and cracks. And now for painting of the doors and the shelf, it's very important to use a primer, especially for wood, to prevent it from sucking in your paint. And I use this Fired Earth Wood Primer, which comes in the color pink. And just before painting the primer onto the TV stand, I just use my sander with a sandpaper disc just to smoothen it out before painting off the TV stand with the primer. So I brought the doors in um, just in case it rains. I know it might, I know it probably won't rain, but it rained like a night or two ago, and I don't want to take that risk. So um, they're gonna dry in here, and then I will see this in the morning. Um, so then I'm gonna paint everything with a gloss and then um, take it from there. So 
I'm very, very excited. This is turning out to be exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy. I used the paint Plascon Universal Enamel in the color white. And I used the brushes to do all the inaccessible places in a roller for all the wider spaces. So for day three, I didn't do any work, um, just to let the paint dry, but also being busy with the work. And I, after attaching the wooden legs, I then just went over again with some more paint. Day five, actually getting to screw in the doors. And I just then screwed the hinges into the actual doors and then marked the places where I would then attach all of the other doors. This was definitely a big struggle, <laughs> trying to mark the place, especially because now the shelf was raised, so I can't use the ground as my level. And I just then marked the areas where I'm supposed to drill in and the struggle continued and continued and continued. And I tried various other ways of trying to screw the doors in. So it is now 22.15. And I had to stop working because it's really late and uh, my drill makes noise. So I don't want to make noise for my neighbors. Um, so that's where we currently are. I am screwing on the doors and the door, the first door went in fine. The second door is giving me a bit of a challenge. So I'm trying to figure out a way of how I'm going to screw on this door and it fits perfectly so hmm. yeah but I'm not giving up easily I'm actually not giving up at all this door will be fine and it'll open fine and this TV stand is going to be fine and um, yeah it has to work it really has to work so and um, yeah I'll figure it out but right now um, I need to go do The work that I actually get paid for. <laughs> I need to go do some stuff and then go to bed and then start all over again tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I have a bit of, I come back at the usual time because today I came back home around uh, after 8, like 20 past 8. So after leaving the house around 7. So been a long day and I thought I would actually do something. I got so excited that I could screw on the doors but yeah the draw is getting in our way. So yeah till tomorrow which will be day so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day six. That was right, day six. So it is day six. We are almost at the finish line. Uh, just placing the doors underneath the TV stand. 
and it cracked the TV stand a little bit in the middle but it was securely attached so that was still okay and I just then went ahead and drilled in the holes into the plasma stand where I'm going to attach the doors and then I realized my stand was not balanced because my legs were glued in improperly i tried various things but i just had to resort to buying more legs that i could put underneath the tv stand and i tried everything bricks weights <laughs> yeah so the shelf is finally done and after all the repainting on doors and putting in the last bits of the legs i screwed in my last door and it took a bit of time but that is it it's done and then just to make sure that it, it closes well properly and reposition all the other doors and that's it done I am not a big fan of color, but I really wanted some books on my TV stand right over there in the middle. So what I've learned actually is when you take the book out of its cover, there, it's gray. And my color scheme is gray, white, and black. And what do we have? Black and white. How beautiful is that, Mrs. O? And I love that both the books are actually um, Michelle Obama books uh, which creates a nice cohesive look so having those two right here So thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and you guys have <laughs> finally reached the end and I am honestly really pleased with myself. I think this was one project where I really surprised myself on my capabilities and it's just one of those things where I'm like, you did good son. <laughs> there were quite a few challenges, I mean the, um, the ends of the TV stand aren't like perfectly smooth and the the legs i had to i had to first get like six legs just to put it and then it was lopsided so it was not stable so i had to go get three more legs i actually got two more legs and then i had to go back to the store to get one leg just so that doesn't fall forward and i mean it, it isn't really that stable but i mean it can actually just stay on the ground and stay properly and also like the challenging thing was getting the doors i mean i got the three doors as close to perfect as I could get and the one door that's messing me up is like just that one door you know so it's those things but I mean for a big project like this and it's my first time really working with wood on the scale I must say I was really impressed and I think I'll definitely do it again and the painting I mean I remember having to go out to get, get more paint and also I oh, like I, 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 I I can't even remember how many points I did this, but I had to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat 
take down a door, put it back, and you know. And but I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know what you think in the comment box down below. I've also listed um, as much of the material as I used as possible. And please also do subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and please spread the word. And let's just keep on growing the DIY fan band. And yeah, now on to even more projects. <laughs> I am so excited, so thank you guys. Love you! Till the next time.